and welcome to our tutorial video covering how to accept and apply prepayments in the Receivables module of ESC. Please note that if you are integrated with QuickBooks or Peachtree, you will not have access to this screen as any accounts receivable function should be handled in your dedicated accounting software. If you are using ESC Accounting or ESC as a standalone product, you will be able to access this screen by navigating to Receivables and enter prepayments. Sometimes there may be a case where you need to accept money before billing a job. Some examples of this may be a deposit for the sale of a new unit or perhaps a new installation. To handle this in ESC, we will want to process what we call a prepayment. With the prepayment screen open, we can accept a customer's payment in advance of actually billing them. This gives you the benefit of maintaining accurate bank account records without having to track accounts receivable for a job that may not even yet be begun. Our first step to creating a prepayment will be to select our customer. Once we have our customer selected, we need to select the appropriate date for the transaction and the payment method that we are receiving. Note that ESC will default to today's date. Once we have our payment information entered here, we have the option to change the invoice number related to this prepayment. ESC will auto-populate the invoice number with two preceding P's to denote elsewhere in the receivables module that the amounts received under this particular invoice are related to a prepayment. We recommend that you allow ESC to determine this invoice number unless you have another business process that dictates and tracks the invoice numbers for prepayments. When receiving your prepayments, you also have the ability to designate a specific department and job for the prepayment. These fields are optional and are used to track the prepayment through ESC's payment and job reports if you desire this information. To complete the entry of the prepayment, we will just need to fill out the amount that the customer gave us. With this information filled out to your satisfaction, hit Save to add the payment to the customer's accounts receivable record. Finally, there are two methods to apply this prepayment to an invoice. The first is to open our Enter Payment screen. With the customer record pulled up, simply check off the pay box for our prepayment invoice and then the pay box for the invoice that we want to apply it to. Hit the Save button and the payment will be applied. The second option is to apply the prepayment directly to an invoice itself. With an invoice for the customer pulled up, notice that there is now a credits button located by the payments total at the bottom of the invoice. By selecting this, we are greeted with a list of outstanding credits and prepayments on a customer's account. We simply need to select the credit payment method from the Apply Credit screen, and then check off the checkbox next to our prepayment invoice number, and then click OK. This concludes our tutorial on entering and applying customer prepayments. Thank you for watching.